This is where it gets really interesting. This is the vamp. This is my favorite part of the song because not only does it sound good <laughs> and was I in my bag, but I learned something new here, which is something I haven't been able to do in a long time. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first episode of The Workshop. This is gonna be a new series that hopefully I remember to continue, <laughs> where basically I go over a song that I recently released or something that I made in the past, and I explain how I created that song, how I got the sounds of the vocals, the instrumentation, whatever it's gonna be. By the way, this video is not sponsored, <laughs> so I don't wanna hear anybody in the comments say anything about, oh, it's a bad plugin, it's, <laughs> shut up. I guess first we could start with the intro. Just let me in. I'm trying to work for now. You can be the friend. I got a quirk. I let everybody in. That's why I hurt. I don't want this thing to end. I'm just trying to search for her. So first of all, you notice at the top of my vocal chain is my auto tune. Um, and then I have my cleaning plugins like my vocal writer and my CLA to a compressor. Now these are gonna be plugins that help me to keep my vocal clear and concise as I'm singing and pushes it to the forefront in the way that a lead vocal needs to be pushed. So I have Autotune Pro here set to auto. I did have a graph mode, but I have noticed that with certain vocals, you don't need to necessarily go to the graph to get clean autotune. You just kind of need to mess around with the different settings here, the retune speed, the flex tune, natural vibrato, and humanize. These are gonna be the ones that craft your autotune sound in the way that you want it to be crafted. Now, I wanted something that was more pop-centric and processed sounding. So of course I went with a fast retune speed. Now, because I'm not doing too much vibrato and, and runs and things like that, it doesn't sound as dramatic as it would if I were doing runs like Chris Brown or things like that. So since my vocal is so simple, didn't really feel the need to uh, try and dial in the autotune too much because the notes are so short and to the point. Of course, set the, the key and the scale to the proper key and the scale of the song. And the input type, which is my voice, is gonna be a tenor voice because I have the tenor voice. So I set that there. And as you can hear, it sounds pretty nice. Next up, we have the vocal writer and the CLA-2A compressor. These are two that I use almost on every single track that I have to just help keep the vocal in the forefront of the mix, especially if it's a lead vocal. You want it to be as audible as possible. I'll play it without these two actually, and you can kind of hear the difference that it's making. Just let me in. I'm trying to work for now. You can be the friend. I got a quirk. I let everybody in. That's why I hurt. I don't want this thing to end. I'm just trying to search for her. So in some parts of this, you can definitely hear the vocal fading in and out. Let me in. So we want to get that as normalized, as straight as possible, no fluctuations in the volume, unless we're doing a song where the dynamics matter in that sense. First and foremost, we're doing a vocal writer to kind of help us keep the, the level turned up. Just let me in, I'm trying to work for now, you can be the friend. Just let me in, I'm trying to work for now, you can be the friend. I got a quirk, I let everybody in. So you'll notice every time I get like too loud, it ducks my audio so that I'm not going over a particular threshold that I set here, the target range. Um, it's gonna be good for helping your volume without having to go into show automation, go to the volume and click in individual keyframes and turn it down here and up here. That stuff is, is for the birds. I don't like doing that. A vocal writer can really save you some time. Then of course we have the compressor, which I threw on there. We all know what a compressor does. It makes the quieter parts louder and the louder parts quieter, for the lack of a better term. And everything is kind of still fitting in this box here instead of going kind of out of control. Just let me in. I'm trying to work for now. You can be the friend. I got a quirk. I let everybody in. Just let me in. I'm trying to work for now. You can be the friend. I got a quirk. I let everybody in. So you don't wanna to totally kill the dynamic range. You wanna make sure that you have a sort of a sweet spot. I normally don't go below 30 on the gain or above 50 on the gain. It depends on the, the scenario. Uh, the peak reduction, I don't normally go above 65 because I think that's when it starts to get a little too extreme. Now let's play it with the music. Just let me in. I'm trying to work for now, you can be the friend. Got a quirk, I let everybody in. That's why I hurt, I don't want this thing to end. But next in line in this chain is the Maserati VX1. You can hear kind of like a layer of crispness that it lays on top of my vocal. Just let me in. I'm trying to work for now, you can be the friend. 
I got a quirk, I let everybody in. That's why I hurt, I don't want this thing to end. I'm just trying to search for her. And so with that, I still wanted to give the song a little bit of travel. The main way that I do this is with my delay. So when I have these lines that has spaces in between the things that I'm saying, so just let me in, space. I'm trying to work from that. You can be the friend, space. I got a quirk, I let everybody in, space. Sometimes those gaps are okay. Other times I like to fill in the space and keep the song kind of moving forward. After the Maserati, we have Greg Wells and CLA. Just let me in. I'm trying to work for now. You can be the friend. I got a quirk. I let everybody in. That's why I hurt. I don't want this thing to end. I'm just trying to search for her. And this is how I released the song, but I would even say if I went back here and kind of redid it, I would turn the lay down just a little bit because I think it's too strong. I'm trying to work for now. You can be the friend. I got a quirk. I let everybody in. That's why I. The key here is subtleties. Sometimes you want things to be in your face and very obvious. Other times you want the effect to be there, but you don't want it to be so blatant and in your face and heard at all times. It just needs to serve a background role, much like ad-libs do. You don't hear ad-libs first and foremost or in the forefront. You hear them as an afterthought. And so in this case, this is kind of like another way to do an ad-lib. It's, it's just, you don't have to record something extra. In addition to this, I did another uh, stack. I'm trying to work for now, you can be the friend. I got a quirk, I let everybody in. That's why I hurt. I'm just trying to search for her. So after the verse, of course, we have to push the song forward a bit more. And sometimes people do this by way of putting a pre-course in, or what I like to call the lean. Another transitional tool, I guess, but just another section of the song. And because it's another section of the song, I wanted to process it differently so that people recognize as they're listening, we're moving forward. This is something different. Vocal dubs can be especially helpful in the transition of any song. Here's how I used Avox Duo to progress my song. That's why I hurt, I don't want this thing to end. I'm just trying to search for I don't wanna let you go tonight. I'ma try to keep an open eye. I don't wanna let you go tonight. I'ma try to keep an open eye on your typically what I like to do. On the part that I want to differentiate from my verse or my chorus, I'll turn up the doubling effect to my liking and adjust the variation knobs on the left-hand side. I'm just trying to search for I don't want to let you go tonight. I'm trying to keep an open eye on you. It gives you a doubling or a dub effect without you having to physically record another vocal. And sometimes this is good. Sometimes I like to actually record the vocal. It just depends on my mood. But in this case, I went with this effect because also you can change the vocal timbre. Oh, how the vocal sounds, how the vocal sounds. It'll be the same note, the same octave. It's just how does it sound as you're talking? Does it sound like this? Or does it sound like this? That's the, the, the timber, <laughs> and I can show you that. I don't wanna let you go tonight. I'ma try to keep an open eye on you. I don't wanna let you go tonight. I'ma try to keep an open eye on you. I like that one. But I also, in addition to this, added some background vocals at this little break that we have here. I don't wanna let you go tonight. I'm gonna keep an open eye on you. Keep an open eye for you. It's not really hard to get full vocals without recording stacks. The thing is though, that it's not gonna sound exactly the same as it would if you were to record these parts individually, like two dubs each. For my sake, I did this because I just wanted to get the song done. I wanted to get the song out and I'm in a mode now where I don't care if things sound perfect. Uh, I just want it to be expressed <laughs> and I want it to sound, you know, roughly how I have it in my head, but I don't want to take forever putting out songs. And so in this case, this is why I use Avox Duo on all these vocals. Basically the entire lean has Avox Duo. We dubbed everything on the lean, which is how we're able to get that unique sound different from the verse and then going into the chorus. And I don't want you to leave, you don't go. Why won't you just stay? I just need you to stay. And then of course we have the biggest part of the song, which is our chorus. Stay. Just 
I didn't want to go the shortcut route for this. I wanted the chorus to actually feel full and be full. I actually, I honestly didn't process the stacks too much because I knew that they would be playing a background role. And I felt like if I put all the same processing, the same reverbs and delays and all that stuff on these vocals as I did with the rest. And then I put everything through a bus channel that gives me my CLA vocals, that gives me my typical settings. So this is gonna be one bus channel CLA vocals that processes the entire chorus, basically 12 vocals. So again, we have a little bit of a chamber reverb. We have a quarter note uh, delay so that we can get that. Why won't you just stay, 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 ba 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 ba, stay, stay. Why won't you just stay? The delay does help me to articulate this in a way because it's hitting every quarter note, every downbeat. Stay, stay, stay. Why won't you just stay? I just need you to stay. Come on, man, and just stay. Please don't go to just. The details, the tiny details, are going to be what makes your song sound different and unique and, and memorable. It's these little tiny things that even though you're not directly paying attention to because it's sitting in the background, if it was not there, you would notice it's not there. You would notice something's missing. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. This is the vamp. This is my favorite part of the song because I learned something new here, which is something I haven't been able to do in a long time. Here's a cool way to use vocodist in a vamp. Just stay with me, just stay with me. Won't you stay with me? On that audio track that you just recorded your vocals, you're gonna come down to the output and select no output. And then I went to my software instrument track where we can find auto-tune vocalist. Side chain it to the vocal and then play. Please don't go, just stay with me. Won't you stay with me? Just stay. Think about, for instance, The weekend and Daft Punk. I feel a coming. You didn't hear a vocoder, at least I didn't, until the end of the song, near the end. I feel a coming. Um, I would say this is one of those tools that you, you gotta save for one part of the song and don't go crazy with it. One or two parts. You know, this is basically a copy and paste of our reverse vocal chain. I wanted to kind of get this auto pan that bounces the vocal from ear to ear. So, please don't go just stay with me. What I did was I actually added Sound Doctor, which comes with this auto pan feature here. This is one of the presets that I found when I pressed the randomize button here. Please don't go just stay with me, just stay with me, won't you stay with me? Please don't go just stay with me, just stay with me, won't you stay with me? Please don't go just stay with me, won't you stay with me, just stay with me, please don't go just stay Tell me baby does he treat you right, is he taking care of you from day to night? Tell me, baby, does he treat you right? Is he taking care of you from day to night? I don't know if he can, but I can be that man. I see, I can't stop playing the song when I play it. It's just too good to me. And this is why I tell people, bro, these plugins are not bad. They're useful. And Logic just crashed. <laughs> I hope my little brief overview and breakdown was helpful to you. Um, I hope you liked the song, by the way, as well. Don't forget to click the link down in the description to go check out my newest song, Tory Pines, which has been released with Stay in the same single project, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> if you guys liked this series, please let me know, and I would love to do more. As always, stay legendary just in time because my battery is dying on my monitor. <gasps> Goodbye. <laughs> Just let me in, I'm trying to work for now, you can be the friend I got a quirk, I let everybody in 
That's why I hurt, I don't want this thing to end